Nigerian Army Authority has announced that it has discovered a factory used for the manufacturing of weapons of mass destruction, specifically drawn by the Biafra Secessionist Armed Group in Delta State. Nigerian Army spokesperson Major General Onyema Iwachuku in a news release few hours ago said the Nigerian troops met stiffer resistance from the Biafra fighters who engaged them in a gun battle. Adding, Nigeria's security operatives overpowered the Biafra fighters with superior firearms. According to the Army statement and pictorial evidences to back up the claim, two of the Biafra fighters were gone down in action, six suspects were arrested and drones in the process of production were seen at the factory. The statement reads in quotes, Troops of the Nigerian Army have made a significant inroad in the ongoing fight against terrorism and insurgency, as the uncovered and neutralized a major firearms and drone manufacturing factory operated by armed fighters of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and its militia arm, the Eastern Security Network ESN, at Onicha Yulona in Aniucha South local government area of Delta State. The intelligence-led operation revealed that the dissidents were using the factory to carry out criminal activities to terrorize neighboring communities and innocent citizens. Upon swooping on the illegal factory, the troops were met with stiff resistance, but overpowered the armed fighters in the fierce firefight that followed. The gallant troops neutralized two of the fighters and recovered substantial cash of arms and ammunition. Items captured by the troops include a wide range of IPOP ES and firearms, ammunition, an improvised explosive device, IED, and a drone manufacturing factory. Other items recovered are a variety of weapons, drones under construction, with prototypes, improvised explosive device materials, a fully equipped workshop, and several power generating sets. Troops also apprehended four male and two female fighters during the operation. The Nigerian army assures the public of troops' unalloyed commitment to dismantling terrorists and insurgent networks in their effort to mitigate security challenges in the nation. Meanwhile, Nigerian army said, in a strategic effort to promote peace and understanding in Talaba state and environs, the commander sits brigade and sector 3 operation well stroke, OPWS, Brigadier General King Slichidibiri Uwa has initiated a known kinetic operations as he convened a crucial meeting with stakeholders from Southern Taraba State. The meeting, which was held on the 11th of March 2023 at Fafa Global Resource Event Center in Takum, served as a platform to foster dialogue and cultivate collaboration between the military and local communities. Recognizing the importance of cooperation in addressing prevailing challenges in the general area, General Owa sought to establish a strong foundation of trust and understanding among all parties involved. Through these non-kinetic operations, the Commander 6 Brigade aims to go beyond traditional military approaches and explore alternative strategies to maintain peace and stability in the area by engaging critical stakeholders to build lasting relationships based on mutual respect, shared interests and a common vision for a prosperous Talaba state. The meeting witnessed the active participation of key stakeholders within the six local government areas, including community leaders, representatives from civil society organizations, and influential members of the public. Their valuable insights and perspectives were crucial in shaping the discussions and strategies for future collaboration. Addressing the stakeholders, General Uwa expressed his unwavering commitment to fostering a peaceful environment in southern Taraba. He emphasized the significance of joint efforts between the military and local communities in overcoming challenges, promoting development and ensuring the safety and well-being of the people. He revealed that 6th Brigade and OPWS will continue to engage in non-kinetic operations to further strengthen the bonds between the military and the local community. By leveraging dialogue, understanding and cooperation, this initiative he noted seeks to create a harmonious and prosperous environment for development. While thanking the commander for the military's prompt responses to issues within the region, the stakeholders expressed appreciation for the military's initiative in reaching out to engage with communities directly.
They highlighted various security concerns, socioeconomic development, and intercommunal tensions that require concerted efforts to resolve. They also underscored the significance of building trust and understanding between the military and civilian populations to foster long-term peace and stability. You are please requested to disseminate this information through your medium. Thank you for your usual cooperation. The Army News release as made available by Lieutenant Obi Oli the Acting Assistant Director of 6 Brigade Army Public Relations and in quote. Osasuwa Nebe, bring the news in a more digital way.